and welcome to another demo stroke tutorial for fitgauges.com gauges. This tutorial will cover the in-gauge menus, otherwise known as mini menus, um, and I'll cover how to access the menus, um, different types of access points for the menus, and give some indication of what you can expect to see in there as well. Now, the indicator that my gauges have these mini menus is a blue LED so when you're looking on the store on my website and browsing through my gauges if you see a little blue LED on my gauge then you know that gauge has a little mini menu built into it these little mini menus give you access to functions and features that wouldn't normally be available in any gauge but they are as a result of spud.next wonderful inclusion of uh, expressions that we can um, write and build and it enables us to manipulate the gauges and have functions uh, and built-in variables and, and other very very useful things so let's get started um, this example will show you a couple of different gauges um, because they're pretty much the the templates for most of my gauges anyway so the one I'm showing you at the moment is the airspeed gauge now to access the menu the mini menu on this gauge uh, you can see a little blue LED, as I was saying earlier, that's the indication of the um, availability of a menu. Uh, the LED is always closest to the hardware that operates it. So if the LED was up here, then it would be an S1 control. If the LED is down here, then it's generally uh, a right dial control. Um, my gauges will either have S1 or the right dial controlling the menus. Uh, on this gauge, we, we don't have a function on the right dial, so I'm using the right dial to actually control the menu. Now, when you turn the right dial to the right, the menu will pop up, and each time you turn the dial to the right, the menu will scroll through the various different options that are available for that specific gauge. And these are variables that are saved within each of my FIP gauges. Okay. Uh, another example would be my heading gauge. As you can see here, this heading gauge is using the right dial for moving the heading. So obviously I can't access the menu here, but you can see on this gauge my LED is up in the top left hand corner. So that gives an indication of where the hardware control is for the menu. So if I press S1, now I can access the menu on this gauge. Once the menu is open, then the right dial will operate the gauge like any other gauge and to close it once again you would press the S1 key and that will close the menu. Uh, then the right gauge goes back to its non-menu function which is basically to turn the heading on this particular gauge. So while the activation of the gauge is no longer controlled on the right dial it is still controlled once the menu is open. So you still now open the menu with the S1 but you're using the right dial to now change the gauge function. Now, the right dial just moves the gauge uh, mini menu, menu one step left or right. To change the function, this is where you use the left dial to actually change the value of each function within the gauge. So if we'll start on this particular gauge, uh, we have instructions, so with the left dial we can toggle that on and off, and on this gauge it just shows you some of the things that uh, are available in the menu. The next option is side buttons. Uh, I've got a separate demo tutorial for covering side buttons and labeling, so please check that out. And we can turn the side buttons on and off. Uh, on this particular one, we've got a function. So now we're in function mode. I can, using the left dial, I can select a function that I wish to change. The uh, left dial turning to the right changes the function. And if I turn to the left, it turns that on or off so left toggles on and off and right will then select another function so you can actually have quite good control over lots of different functions using the dials quite simplistically okay so right dial change ap value compass styles compass marks gauge aircraft so lots of fancy little things that you can do uh, within your gauge. So to change the function um, value here, I skipped over there very quickly a moment ago, 
um, if I was to select something like uh, altitude, the altitude is currently set to zero. But if I move the right dial now to change AP value, I can now increase this using the left dial. So I can actually set values as well as toggle those uh, functions on and off. I can actually set them as well. I will cover the, uh, the head engage in more detail in its own tutorial, but this was just to show you how the menus work. Right dial changes the menu function, left dial actually changes the actual function itself, the values. As you can see this gauge is quite configurable by playing around with the, uh, the various different uh, functions that are available. You wouldn't normally be able to do this on a FIP gauge, this is only something that you can do with SPAD.next. In the Cytec drivers, the gauges are very much fixed, the graphics are fixed, they're not interactive, you can't change them dynamically. Um, because we have the beauty of being able to use local variables within SPAD, we're actually able to do some very complex things with gauges now and I use the menus to be able to access those functions and features. And to get rid of the menu, you simply turn it left all the way until it goes out, but because of this one, it is not using the right dial because the right function is used by heading. If I was to turn it off using the left dial here, then unfortunately I would start moving the heading and I don't want to do that when I turn off the menu. So the menu on this particular gauge, as I say, it's toggled on and off with the S1. Now if I go back to the other gauge, the S speed gauge, this one if I turn the right dial, you'll see that the menu comes on, all the way to the right, and if I spin it all the way to the left, it will actually turn the menu off. Now if I had done that in the other gauge, as I said, when I got to the off point, if I carried on spinning it slightly, I'd actually be altering the gauge settings, so I didn't want that. Okay, so that covers pretty much mini menus. Um, I hope that was helpful. Please subscribe and look forward to seeing you soon.